intro time. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Hundred percent. I win. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. So we're going back and forth. Yeah. At times. Okay. Yeah. Hang All on, because right. I felt you getting ready to go. I was like, Phew. and I was like, you know, I jump right into the subject, man. Right? Yeah, you do. Go ahead. I did. Mm. What? Not you, she. You just have a good breeze. Hello. Hey, hey, hello, all. Good to see everyone back again. Thanks for all your tuning in and all the comments. And hopefully, we're addressing things and helping out, helping others, and helping you all out as well. Um, I'm T, and this is my wife Tay. And uh, we're back for another edition of Pillow Talk. It's April. We made it all the way to April, guys. It has been an awesome past three months to chat with you guys and just share information and topics and thoughts and opinions. And to be able to do it together. Yes, to do it together. Um, so welcome to April and our Pillow Talks with Tia and Tay. Um, we just, we're thankful and grateful to have all of you guys here with us and for your continued support and watching us. So thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, today's topic is one that we, um, thankfully yeah. don't have a lot of, yeah. um, yeah. and I think it's because how we handle them, right. um, that and because that we've been through so many of them probably yeah. that we don't have as many <laughs> as we do now. <laughs> um, but today's topic is how do we or how do we handle um, disagreements when we yeah. have them? Um, I'm going to let T talk first since he likes to call me Tay. I'm going to let T talk first. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And share like his thoughts on like how he feels we handle our disagreements. Yes, yeah, so I would just like to say my part and then you can tag off of me. How about that, Tay? <laughs> yes, it's fine. I won't call you T no more. Don't call me Tay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, no, we're not past that yet. It's still an issue, and I don't like it. It's strange for you to call me Tay. And we're having a disagreement already. And <laughs> how are we going to solve this? I don't know how this is going to be resolved, but I do know that this is typical. She's woman, I'm man, and. <laughs> Hey, a woman. But I don't mean it just like that. <laughs> but that's how they came Everybody is now. different. Everybody is uniquely made differently. And our thoughts are different. Um, however, the way my wife and I, we choose, what we do is we discuss them out the best we can. Uh, things arise and then we discuss it. Um, sometimes they don't get resolved overnight. I like to get it out before I go to bed. My wife didn't always like to go and get it out. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Hold on, because we're going to have a disagreement here already. That is not true, because I don't like to go to bed angry. And I can't say that we would get so angry with each other, but I've always been told never to go to bed angry with your mate. That's because right. you don't know what tomorrow holds if we wake up tomorrow or not and right. see one another. Exactly. So, angry I don't, but as far as like completely handling and solving a disagreement? Probably not, but I'm not going to go to bed to where I won't give you a kiss tonight and let you know that I do love you no matter what we're dealing with. And it's truly genuine. I'm not just saying it out of habit or out of just, okay, so I don't go to bed angry. I'm saying this to you type of thing, but it's truly genuine that I do love you and we'll discuss it more or whatever. So, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but you wouldn't finish saying throw me under the bus like, I don't have to, uh, don't go to bed angry. Carry on. I love you. I love you too. Um, I just know how still, you see how it touched her nerve there? That's what can happen, but it's okay. Because you know what buttons I, push. I love you too, and, but what we do is we do discuss it to the best of our ability uh, of the situation of our, or anything that arises. Um, it's hard to get answers sometimes. Sometimes you don't have a true answer for that uh, situation because she may be looking at it differently. I may be looking at it differently. And sometimes you just have to give your, you, you just have to 
allow, I say it that way. You have to allow that difference that you may have with it uh, to the other, to the other partner and say, okay, we're going to try it your way. And we're going to, I'm not going to, you know, throw it, uh, throw any stones at you or bricks if it doesn't work. Uh, but I don't really support this, but I'm going to go ahead and go and try it your way. I, I wish you could see it my way, but you don't, and that's okay, you know, and, and uh, we'll get through it. It's not the end of the uh, the day, and it's not the end of the marriage. It's not the end of uh, the world, you know, and so that's the way we look at things, and I try to reason, and, and my wife tries to reason as well uh, with understanding. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that's best to, to communicate it out. You know, I love saying that. And so you opened the door for me to use that word. I did. It's okay. We yeah. like communication. So, yeah. And that's the way I, uh, I see it. I don't know what, how you see it, Tay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm with you with it. Um, I guess my thoughts with it, like you said, is definitely communicating with each other. Because we communicate so well with one another, it yeah. makes it um, difficult to even have a disagreement. Not saying that we're a perfect couple no. or anything by any means, because even the best couples disagree because you're not always going to agree with everything. You're not going to be somebody's yes man or yes no. woman. We're um, yes, because we see we're things differently. Yeah. It's about perception and perspective and yeah. how what your perspective of the situation is and how it really how, how you convey it. Um, a lot of times when we do disagree with each other, we we haven't gotten to a point to where we stop speaking to one another for weeks on the end or anything like that. Maybe, like I said, we may go like a whole day, but by the end of the night, we're at a point to where we are like, okay, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll discuss this tomorrow, but I do love you. Yeah. Um, because for me, unlike him, there's certain things that come up that I can't really address at the moment because I need to process the information. And he's learned this about me that like I'm not a let's talk about it right now type of person because I need to really truly digest what's been said to me or what we what we're disagreeing about. I need to digest it and that way I can be able to communicate it back to him. He on the other hand is a person that's like, no, let's handle this right now. I want to talk about it right now, let's get it done right now, type of thing. But that's not how I function. But I compromise with him and we'll listen. And then in return, I'll tell him, well, I need some time to process this. Let me get back with you or talk about it later about it or whatever. And we understand each other. We've been together almost a decade and we, we understand each other and understand how each other work and how we process information. So we're being mindful of that when we do have disagreements that, you know, even though we didn't agree with how we handled this one, if it becomes a situation of how we handle maybe a kid or how we handle a disagreement with like a sibling that we were dealing with and we didn't do it the right way, whatever it may be. Whatever, yes, a parent, family, family whatever it is. <laughs> it goes a lot of different areas. You know, because like I said, no relationship is perfect. You're going to have those bumps in the road. But the thing is not to throw in the towel. Right. Don't throw in the towel. Right. Take time and talk to your mate. Talk to your spouse. Talk to your girlfriend, boyfriend, whomever. But have that conversation with each other and express how that may have made you feel. I know it sounds like therapy, but it is what it is. You have to be therapeutic in your relationship or you're not going to be able to communicate one another like you should. And it's going to cause the relationship to drift apart anyway. Exactly. So it's best to address the situations before they get so far out of hand and have that time to talk with one another versus just dismissing it and or ignoring it or ignoring one another. A lot of times it's hard to have that conversation immediately because you don't want to say something you'll regret uh, because you're angry. And a lot of times we say things out of anger that we don't really mean. We're just dealing with emotions. So, um, yeah, you're dealing with emotions and you're like, you say things in the heat of the moment because you're emotional. And because all humans are emotional creatures, you never know what's going to pop out of your mouth. And then at that moment, once it's come, once it's just like toothpaste. Once you squeeze it out of that tube, there's no way you can get that back in there. So the things that come out of your mouth that you say to your mate, you can't take that back. You've now uh, hurt their feelings or you've now made them feel some type of way based on what you said versus taking a moment to pause, 
really think about what it is you're about to say before you say it instead of saying things out of anger or frustration and really just communicating with, with, with one another on a level you do understand. Now that I've been situation that we still at the end of the conversation and communication we had one another that we still didn't agree. Yes, it's life. It happens, um, but we didn't dwell on it. Right. We didn't sit and let um, it build and fester. We agreed to disagree, um, and we kept it moving. You know, and that's just how I say that we handle the situations as they come up. So. Well, see. Okay. I, you know, I couldn't agree let more. I, you know. Okay. <laughs> that's the way I see it as well. Okay. I Look. just don't want to forget whatever we uh, had our disagreement about or whatever the situation is. That's right. why I always no. want to talk about it at that moment rather than the next day because I forgot the contents and then something else then came up and hey. Uh, but you know that right. I'm super analytical and will give you the story from the beginning yeah. to the end. Yeah. That way you knew exactly what you said at this hour, this second, this minute. Yeah. He doesn't like me to be that person. He wants me to get to the point. But when it comes to things like that, I'm going to be that person that can replay it back just like it was. Yeah. I'm a tape recorder. And so that's what I've learned to be sensitive to uh, your process of thought. Yes. And, and vice versa. And, and vice versa. And so, I, you know, I, I try to give it to you the next day the same way it was brought the day before. But sometimes I lose the content on it. But at the same time, I'm starting to be able to rehearse or whatever occurred mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh bring it to remembrance mm -hmm. but okay. uh that's the challenging part that i'm different in mm -hmm. and that's how we were different in our ways however uh we still communicated and still didn't hold it against each other but we did find that uh years later you know that we were needing that we had different ways of processing uh disagreement yeah yeah. We did. Yeah. And then, like I was saying in the beginning, like the reason why we probably don't have as many disagreements is because in our past relationships, we have dealt with things where we had to argue a lot. And we are tired. Yeah. We were so tired. And we said that to one another when we got together. It's like, look, if this is going to be uh, something we're going to be fussing and arguing with each other every day. Yeah. This is no, we ain't gonna do it. So we made sure that it's those things that like we talked about last week that you discuss with someone before going to the next step of the relationship with them. You discuss these things. Yes. And that was one that was important to both myself and him. Yes. That you know we're not about to sit here and be walking on eggshells because we're hurt. We're gonna communicate with each other. We're gonna right. talk about it. We're not gonna argue with each other every day because it's unhealthy. Right. And we're tired. Of, I'm tired of doing it. He said he was tired of doing it. So we just weren't going to be those people that were going to do that. Right. So right. that's just how we have so few mm -hmm. because we're like, we're not going to do it. Now, you know, we, like I said, we communicate, we talk, we talk it through. If there's some that are just too tough, too, um, too uh, difficult to discuss, we both agree that give yourself time to go through it, process it, and then we sit down and talk about it. We, but we have to talk about it. Yeah. it right. And that's the thing. you got to talk about it. Otherwise, you leave things to assumption. Yeah. And people assume, oh, you still mad at me because you're not talking about it. Or you'll assume, oh, you don't love me anymore because you ain't talked to me in five days. Or And then that's when you start drifting, you start wondering, and all that stuff starts happening. You create so much turmoil, so, turmoil, so don't do it. Right. Don't do it. Oh, sorry. Did you really go there? I did. I, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> all right. Anything else no, on the good. topic? No, <laughs> my love. No, I, no. Y'all see, he ah, tried to slide that tail ah, in there. See how? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. If there's nothing more, um, we thank you guys again for joining us. Yes, we do. We thank you for another episode of Pillow Talk with TNT. Yes. Come back next week. It's our anniversary. Ooh, our anniversary. Hey, oh, 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 oh. oh. I don't know the song right on top of my head. But yes, come back next week and we've got a topic for you guys that you'll enjoy for yeah. our anniversary. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We will see you guys next week on Pillow Talk with TNT. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye. Okay. Why are you watching me like that? <clears throat> Oh,
bless you. Bye. I always watch. But we were talking, and I just thought you were going to respond. Mm -hmm. You got to that. I was like, why is he watching me? I always watch. You always watch me? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll go low. <laughs> Hope so. Mm. Stay low. I will. No, you got some, got something on your eyelash. I'm trying to keep it from going uh, in your eye. Oh, you me in the eye. Oh, my God, it's mine. I'm trying to keep it from going in your eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why can't I poke at you? No. I just want to make sure you, you got it off your eyelash, because then it'll get in your eye, then you'll be rubbing it. No, I'm going to let it just go. <laughs> but then you won't be able to see. Mm -hmm. Then you'll spit on me. Okay. No, okay. I'll spit. <laughs> oh.